of Adrian Broner versus Adrian Granados, uh, February 18th. I'm um, worried about the promotions and the other promotions. I want to thank you all for coming to uh, this press conference here. I know you guys have to get out there and start covering the fight. Uh, they're coming here soon, so uh, we're going to go ahead and open up and go over the questions. Yeah. Okay. Questions we're going to go over the questions and uh, ask uh, these guys anything you want. Steve, Steve, you want to come up? Please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, you want to say something? Okay. Um, no, let him go ahead. Let's get straight to the okay. questions. I do not talk. All right. All right, questions? Adrian, right here. Adrian, right here to your left. Hi, good evening. Uh, tell me, uh, tell us about this fight in Ohio. What, what that means to you? Um, it means a lot to me. You know, um, coming back to the hometown. You know, I gotta put on a great show, like I always do. And I'm not just coming to fight uh, anybody. You know, um, his name might not be as as known as as mine, but I can tell you one thing: this guy's not gonna lay down. And I know he's going to be tough, and he's not any he, he coming to fight. Adrian, Adrian, Chris Garner here with the Fight City. You've got a card on the 10th. You've got a card on the 18th of fighting. Is is there a worry that you're stretching yourself too thin? You're a promoter. You're now a boxer. Granados is focusing on this fight. This is his million dollar ticket. Are you overlooking it because of all the stuff going on? Um, I never overlook any opponent, you know, in this game, and um. You know, right now I'm just focused on my fight. You know, I got great, I got great promoters. Uh, I got a great promoter team. You know, uh, Ravon Little John. He's gonna have to make sure everything's okay. And you know, I got a uh, big bro helping me on my show, so I know I'm, <laughs> I know my show is gonna be okay. So uh, I'm okay. question for Floyd. Um, Floyd, Adrian said when he was talking to media earlier that he's kind of seen the light and he's uh, he said he's been sort of calmed down and he's really training harder than ever. He said part of that came from uh, talking to you and your influence. Can you talk about that? He also said we haven't seen the best of him and now we are going to see that. Um, I think it's all about growth. You know, um, everybody go through certain periods in life where um, Certain experiences you go through in life, you grow from it, you learn from it. I think that um, everything should be a learning experience. Adrian Broner is, we all know that he's a, a hell of a fighter. You know, one of the biggest names in boxing. I mean, you, have, you, have, you may have another guy that's, say, um, he's undefeated. You said you have another fighter that's young and on the rise and says that he's undefeated, but Adrian Broner has charisma. He has that star power. He has what it takes to become a household name. But with, with everything, everything takes time, you know. I'm going to continue to help him push his brand, you know, AP promotions. I will always stand behind him. You know, um, you live and you learn. And he's still young. He has a lot left. And so we all want to see him go out there and entertain. Hey, Adrian. Well, you know, when you fight, you like to pick and choose your spots and you're pretty economical with your punches. Will that, you know, that guy like Adrian Granados throws a lot of punches, will that play into your style? Will that, will that make for an exciting fight? Um, whatever you bring to the table, we're going to be ready for it. You know, uh, this training camp has been incredible. And, you know, uh, we got we still got a, a couple weeks left, so uh, I just want everybody, everybody to watch, and uh, it's going to be a great show. Adrian, there was talk of you coming potentially to ringside last year to the UK when Ricky Burns was fighting. Is there still a prospect that you could fight in the UK at some point this year? Um, most definitely, but right now, um, my biggest task is Adrian Bernanos. Um, You know, uh, if we can't make a good fight with Ricky Burns, then uh, we have to take that up with my team, but right now we focus on February 18th. Adrian, uh, Chiba, uh, in, in 2015, you fought three times, Last year, uh, you fought once. Um, what's the plan for 2017? Um, just being more positive. Um, let me let me touch on that. Um, in 2017, we're going to try to keep all these young fighters active. Adrian Boner deserves to fight this year three or four times. He's young. He's hungry. And it's all about keeping them mentally in the right place. You know, sometimes it's not Adrian that sometimes can that goes into another place. It's the people that sometimes 
surround us, but when you have a positive guy right here to Adrian Bonus right, a guy that's had his back for a long time, you know, when if if I continue to communicate with Adrian and, his, and the positive people that's in his life continue to communicate with him, only thing we can do is get, get great results. And, you know, of course, uh, this fight will be on uh, the best boxing network in the world, Showtime. Uh, of course, we're the A-side. We will always remain the A-side. And um, tonight, I know it's right now, it could be live on some uh, uh, media outlets. Please tune in uh, tonight as we have a unification bout. And um, Mayweather Promotions and other promoter, uh, promotion, boxing promotion companies, Adrian Pro AB Promotions, we're going to continue to give the people what they want to see. And it's all about excitement. This one for Steven. Um, what kind of fight do you think this is going to be in the ring, and you know, how do you think this fits into the rest of your schedule that you've announced? You know, we, we announced a, a really solid first quarter, um, a lot of, you know, big marquee fights. I think Adrian, you know, Adrian's fight here is, is the sleeper of them all, uh, because it's such a great style matchup. Um, you know, you, you can go back, um, you know, uh, to a, a lot of the fights in history, and you have, you know, Adrian style, and you've got a really aggressive, hard charging style against a, a slick boxer, puncher. You know, it's a classic matchup. So, again, people may not know the name Adrian Granados, but if you do your homework and you see he's got four losses, but those four losses are all split decisions to guys who are combined 72 and 1, you know, that guy's had a hard road and he's hungry. And I know he's going to bring out the best in Adrian and vice versa.